Hi, welcome to clickmyproject.com. Here we are going to see the topic called credit card fault deduction using hidden Markov model. Let us see the abstract of this project. The most accepted payment mode is credit card for both online and offline in today's world. It provides cash shopping at every shop in all countries. It will be the most convenient way to do online shopping, paying bill, etc. Hence, the risk of the fraud transaction using credit card has also been increasing in the existing credit card fraud deduction business processing system. Fraudland transaction will be detected after transaction is done. It is difficult to find the card fraudland and regarding losses will be the bad by issuing authorities. Hidden Marco model is a statistic tool for an engineer and scientist to solve the various problems. In this paper, it is shown that credit card fraud uh, can be detected using HMM during transaction. Hidden Marco model helps to obtain the high fraud coverage combined with low false alarm rate. Let us see the data flow diagram of this project. To purchase a product from online, the user have to log in first. For that, the user have to give the user detail and its credit card detail in this uh, module. After he log in, he is redirected to the purchase page. In that purchase page, list of products and uh, its price detail will be listed. The uh, user can select the product and he can buy it through the purchase pages. To buy a product, he have to give his credit card information. The information verification is done on this verification page. After the verification is completed, if it is uh, resulted as true, it, uh, it's verified uh, canteen, then it uh, redirects to transaction page. Else, it detected in fraud check and it declined. The process get declined. After the verification set, it get to transaction um, page. In transaction detail, the user's entire detail of his account and credit card details will be verified. If the verify after the verification is completed, the payment is transacted and the product is buyed. Let us see the running pressure of this project. Run home.java. <laughs> Click sign up to register a new user, give your credit card detail, I am giving my credit card number is CIE5 and my first name is PL Vidya, my last name is PL, my username is PL Vidya and my password is 123, give your age, select your agenda, give any address as you want, give your state. I am giving my state as Tamil Nadu. Select your country, give the amount in your account. I am giving the amount as 6000. And register. After you get registered, click next button and give your second level security questions. In this, I am giving the my username, my childhood name. My mother's date of birth. My schooling. Favorite place. My sp uh, sport I like most. And then the player. This question will ask when fraud and check. In back back end process click back button sign in with your account with your on file if the password or username is wrong then the wrong password pop up will arrive otherwise it will go to payment page click payment button for uh, purchase give you a username credit card number if the ABU given detail is wrong, then it will not get verified and it will not redirected. You have to give the username and passwords with credit card number again with correct username. Give her last ba balance amount in your account. I am giving this is a 6000 which is the correct one. 
if it is correct it goes directly to the amount to purchase otherwise the question will ask to you you have to answer that question i'm giving my purchase amount is 5000 if the purchase amount is less then it will goes to transaction otherwise it will not allow you to transact mm, the transaction amount should be less than the balance amount in your account if i click purchase it goes to fts if i give the wrong amount balance amount it will raise the pop-up which is uh, your account information is wrong so you have to undergo the below process for undergo the below process i have to give my nickname of the childhood nickname so i'm giving that clear with your so if it is verified then it goes to amount to purchase and the following process will happen as as i said so far Second. Click get button. Go to fraud detection system. If my transaction is less than five, it asks the below question. I have to answer this question. Then only the transaction will get complete. Otherwise, the transaction will get declined. Yeah. Give my childhood name. Most data fit is 12, 12, 12. S P O E. My favorite places. Uti. Also like most is cricket. And this is Raina. If my above given detail is correct, it uh, transaction will get completed. Else the transaction will get declined. The transaction completed successfully. My current balance amount is thousand. If I click this OK button, the entire process will get exit. Again, I am running home.java to check whether the uh, transaction amount get transacted perfectly or not. So, I am giving the same process again to check for the balance amount. With you. I am giving verify last balance amount is thousand which i shown before the thousand is the correct one so it goes directly to the amount to purchase pay here i am giving the amount to purchase as thousand five which is greater than the balance amount so it will arise the pop-up the purchase is not possible due to balance amount in your account for that you have to give again the one so, so i am doing my purchase for 500 so I am clicking my purchase, it goes to check for FTS. If my transaction is greater than 5, it directly completes the transaction. Uh, is less than 5, then the same, again the same process will get repeated. I have to give my second level security. So my transaction is greater than 5. So it gives the message called transaction complete successfully. Your current balance amount is 500. Without asking that second level security questions. Um, by using that second level security question, we have found the fraudulent check which is based on hidden Markov model. This hidden Markov model is nothing but um, visibility not, does not visible the transaction between the state. It just uh, shows the results, how it uh, happens. Here the result get executed, the transaction will get complete and the balance will automatically reduce from your account. Um, for thousand I have purchased for 500 so remaining 500 is displaying here okay thank you for watching